Let's see how we can implement a Hello World application with Badin. Starting from the Maven archetype, I'm going to delete all the code inside the init methods, and then I'm going to use a label component to show Hello World on the web page. Now we can set the content of this UI to be the label we just created by using the setContent method. Then we can start the application using the run configuration we created previously. Once the application starts, we should be able to see the application running in the browser and the hello world text on the web page. Let's create a different version of the hello world application. Instead of a label, we can add a button with the caption grid on it. And again, we can set the content of the UI to be the button. I will save the file and Eclipse will detect the change and restart the application automatically. There you are. If I reload the web page, you will see the button, but nothing happens when I click it. Let's change that by adding a click listener. So we can call the add click listener method. And because I'm using Java 8, I can pass a Lambda expression here to show a notification using the notification class to show the text hello world on the web page. Now let's save the file and once the application restarts, we will see that when I click the button, the hello world text appears. Notice that when I move the mouse, the notification disappears. That's the default behavior of these kind of notifications. Let's add a text field to the UI. You can do that by using the text field class and again, you can specify a caption for the component. Let's use name as the caption for the text field. And let's change the notification so that instead of hello world, it will show the text hi plus what the user typed on the text field. Now, because we have two components this time, we need to add them into a layout. There are several types of layouts in Badin, but we are going to use a vertical layout. As its name implies, a vertical layout will show its components in a vertical fashion. Now we can add the components into the layout by using the add components method. So let's add the text field and the button. Finally, we need to set the content of this UI to be the layout instead of the button. Let's save the file and see how it looks like. There you are. So if I introduce my name here and click the button, I will see the notification. Let's improve the appearance of the application by adding some space around the layout. You can do this by calling the set margin method. And let's also add some space between the components inside the layout. Saving the file. And there you are. The UI looks better and it works as expected.